Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to Fitness Fridays, episode four now. So really exciting this week. We're going to change a few things like we always do each week. But this week, one of the main things that we're gonna change is the time in which we exercise for. So we're still going to be doing eight exercises, but instead this week, we're gonna be working for 40 seconds and we're gonna be resting for 20 seconds. Okay, so usually we'd do 35 seconds working and 25 seconds rest. They said this week we're gonna do 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So we're going to start with toe touches, which are very simple. You'll, as I always do, we'll explain uh, what they are in the breaks and the interim periods that we have between each exercise. So we're gonna be doing toe touches, power knees, heel kicks, star jumps, jumping squats, up and down planks. Now there's a couple of variations for that, so I'll show you what they are. Uh, mountain climbers, and then we're gonna climb the rope to finish off. In fact, I'll show you very quickly what I mean by up and down planks uh, now before we get started so we can get straight into it. <clears throat> so what you'll do is you will go into the plank position. I'll do the side on so you can see. So we'll go into the plank position like this, okay? So we'll hold this position. Get, I'll make sure I'm in the camera. And then instead of holding this position, you're gonna go up and down, and up and down. Okay, so that's what the up and down planks are. Now if you can't do that, that's okay. Just hold a plank for as long as you can. So, as always, I will start my trusty hit timer that we use, and we will get on with Fitness Fridays number four. So, we're starting off with toe touches. We've got about 15 seconds before we get going. So, toe touches, feet shoulder width apart, arms out wide, and we're gonna be touching our toes, like that, okay? Two, one, Go, okay, so 40 seconds, touching our toes. Now, this is a really good exercise because not only does it get your heart rate going, it also is, acts as a nice stretch for us. Okay, so I'm keeping my hands nice and wide, my arms out wide, I'm going down and touching my toes. Okay, make sure we're touching our toes. We're nearly halfway there, we're doing really well. And you should feel your heart rate rising, okay? Now you can do it quicker if you like, but be careful not to over twist, okay? Okay, good. Good effort. So, that's the first one done. Next one is power knees. Now power knees are just like high knees. We're just gonna be running on the spot, but really forcing our knees up high, okay? So we're gonna do some running on the spot, but we call them power knees. Sounds a bit more exciting. Two seconds. Okay, off we go. So working nice and hard, getting those knees as high as we can, and using our arms too. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now I'm very lucky today to be able to do this in a classroom. And I'll let some of you have a guess as to whose classroom I'm in. Some of you might know. One of the clues is there's lots of flags in here. There's a nice world map at the back of the classroom. Whew, keep going. Five seconds to go. Get those arms up. Good. Whew, second exercise done already, well done. So, next exercise is heel kicks. Very simply, on the spot, kicking our heels up like that, okay? Heels up, so standing on the spot. Make sure we are here, our heels are knocking our bums when we do it, okay? Off we go. So heel kicks from the side. Woo. This one's really gonna get your heart rate up today. Get you ready for your Friday lessons. This is a good one you can do at home with mum and dad as well. I'm sure that they're keen to get involved. And you'll really feel your breath. You'll know, really, really be gasping for some breath, which is really good. Get that oxygen into that blood. Nice deep breaths, make sure you can control your breath so don't overwork. If you can't do it, slow down. Next to the heel kicks. Woo! Two seconds. Good effort. Well done. Okay. Next exercise. Flying through them today, aren't we? Next exercise is star jumps. So we all know what star jumps are. I don't need to explain those. We're nearly ready to go. Five seconds. Get into position. Make sure you've got enough space around you. 
and we go. Okay, off we go. Star jumps. Get those legs nice and wide and those arms moving. Clap at the top if you want, like that. <laughs> or you can just simply do as I'm doing. Now, make sure that you're bouncing on the balls of your feet, okay? You don't want flat feet. Balls of your feet means you stay nice and dynamic. Whew. This is a good one. My heart rate is flying. Nearly there, three seconds. Two, one. Good. Right. A good leg burner, this one. Up next is, or are rather, jumping squats. So, you're going to go into a squat, down and jump up, okay? Really good. Five seconds to go. Whew. Good effort, you're all doing really well. So, squat down and jump up. Okay, keep a nice straight back. Squat down and jump up. Okay, down and up. And down and up, okay, from the side, looks like this, feet shoulder width apart, down and up, okay? Notice my feet are leaving the ground every time I do it. So you really want to power through in your jumps. Put your hands together, it'll help you squat. Down and up, okay? Not going too deep though, because you won't be able to power up. Down and up, okay? And down and up, and down and up, okay? Well done, good effort. You're doing really well. So, the next exercise is the one I showed you earlier. It's the up and down planks. So you'll start in the plank position, and then you go up, down, up, down, up, down. I'll do it from the side to show you, then I'll move around to the front so you can see what it looks like from the front, okay? So, plank position. Okay, and we're gonna go up, okay? And down, and up, and down, and up, and down and up and down, okay? So from the front, if it looks similar, keep a nice straight back. Okay, start in the plank position, up and down, and up and down. If you can't do it, just stay in the plank position. Hold that plank position, okay? But make sure if you look at my back, if you're gonna hold the plank, it's really nice and straight, okay? So like this, okay? Not like that, like this, nice straight back. Good, well done. That's a really difficult one, so you should be really proud of yourselves for doing that one, good effort. Right, next one, mountain climbers, okay? We've all done mountain climbers before, so we're gonna go into that press up position, and we're gonna bring our knees to our chest, okay? So feet out, like that. Nice, straight back. Now, the closer your feet are, coming up to your chest, the harder it is. Also, the further over your hand you get, the harder it will be. So, if you start with your hands here, and you're way over them like that, that's gonna be really difficult for you. But if it's too hard, and you break, put your hands further away, nice straight back, and still continue to lift up, okay? So up, down. Remember to suck your tummy in as well. It's a really hard one, okay? Tiring work, right, last but not least, climbing the rope. Now, we've done this before. Imagine that you're climbing a vine in the jungle. You're gonna start with your hands in the air, like you just don't care. Okay, and we're gonna go like this, okay? So imagine that you've got to get to the top of that vine. Or you could be on a pirate ship, or you could just be imagine that you're in the gym, in the hall. I'm sure you'd much rather be in the gym, in the hall together, than doing Fitness Fridays. As you know, I'm sure you're not. So, if you look at my feet, my feet are always bouncing, look. And my hands are reaching up as high as they can. This will burn your shoulders. Okay, they're climbing, 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 climbing. If you can't do it, just go back to your high knees. We've got three seconds. Indeed, indeed. So, that was Fitness Fridays, episode number four. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was definitely harder than what you've done before. 
Okay, so we've improved in our time and we've improved in the exercises that we're doing, which means that you're probably subconsciously getting fitter. Okay, I'd really encourage you, and I know you've got lots of lessons on and you're working really hard at home and everyone at Child Links is really proud of how well you're all doing, okay? So you should be, be aware of how proud all of, our, all of the teachers are at Child Links of how well you're doing. But if you do get some spare time, it's really important that you manage to, you know, get out and move. I know lots of you are getting out and doing uh, the, the, the challenges that Ms. Bro Mr. Broadley and Ms. Wilkins are setting for you. It's really good and it's really positive to see you all clocking up your miles, especially if you're Thames walking, things like that. But if you've got 10 minutes or 20 minutes between the class, try out one of the, hip, the Fitness Fridays workout, okay? They're really good just to get your heart rate up. It's a different type of exercise, it's a different energy. It's a change from just going and kicking a ball around. It's a change from going and um, going on a walk or going on a cycle ride. And then get your families involved and you can get, repeat these videos as many times as you like. You've got the exercises. So go from there. Anyway, have a fantastic Friday. Work hard, play harder, okay? And I'll see you next week. All right, cheers, bye.